Theater. It is already the afternoon, but I have so much to tell you about. Last night was fun. Always great being able to hang out with your friends or your best friend, and there seemed to be like some other people that I knew there. Have a little dance with the bestie. Can't complain about that, can we? If you guys missed out, I couldn't, like, I didn't want to bring the camera because I told you guys yesterday I didn't want to confiscate it in case you weren't allowed to have it. I don't know. I don't know these events. I didn't know much about it. But it was a really fun festival and there were so many people there. I'm so excited and I love dancing and having fun and being happy for other artists. But there's so much inside of me that just wanted to run out on stage and do a Beyonce and just, you know, Beyonce walk out there and take over the stage. Stage. but I like that I think it's a good thing it's not that I don't want someone to have their time but I wanted my own set too <laughs> so if you guys checked out that snapchat you would have seen there were so many people there <sighs> I miss performing when I looked out at the crowd it seemed like a very similar setup to when I did the pride tours <laughs> I love live performance so much. It's like home. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Especially because we're working on the rest of the song. We're finishing it up. We're working on the video. I'm like coming up with some funny ideas for other videos. And yeah. Hello, princess dog. Oh, who is queen? Who is queen? Who is queen? All right, now I'm ready again to go out with my girl. I just need boob tape because these just want to keep going down. Well, that was an early-ish night. Early-ish. It is actually early-ish, isn't it, Annika? Relatively early. What? Why are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> what do you want down there? What do you want down there? <gasps> oh God! What is it? Ow! 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 Annika, what, what is this happening? What is, okay. Shh, naughty. I got everything on my shopping list, so that's good. You know what though, I'm starving. I've had like snacks. It's time to get out of this dress, cause man, I hate wearing dresses. I'm gonna make some food. What's for dinner? Did you cook me something? Did you cook me anything? I don't want no. If you're playing me, keep it on the low Cause my heart can't take it anymore And if you're creeping, please don't let it show Oh baby, I don't wanna know Does he touch you better than me? Touch you for all the same Ready for me to be first again? Because this is how we do. Ah. Just good. Alright, I've got myself some mushrooms. I've got myself some salad. I've got some onions. Garlic dip. Got an Annika. So pretty. Avenavo. Avenavo? Too fat or not too fat? Too fat. This is so good. This is rose water. Oh, I told you last one. Mmm. Hydrate me. Really like this. Balances pH. Beauty elixir radiant skin hair elasticity. Mmm, doesn't feel very elastic. Yo, these are so bad for you. <laughs> I say it as I open it. They're like puff candy. They're so bad. It's just sugar and more sugar and citric acid and then just flavors. They were um, on sale though for a dollar. This whole freaking tub, I'm s You know what? <sighs> the junk food wasn't so cheap. <sighs> I'd still eat it. Mm, that's disgusting. Tastes like cheapness. Get what you pay for, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Let's make a meal. What's next, Annika? 
I always forget to do a thumbnail, Annika. How's? Mm. Mm -hmm. It makes my whole face feel funny. Like, what are you going to say? She said the side of my face is going numb. Well, because you licked me. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop. Do you have any idea how much I love you? Am I embarrassing you? I don't care. Oh. Seriously, my face is going numb. What is in your saliva? Can someone please write in the comments why my face goes numb when she licks me on the face? That's so weird. I did not do that. You want some of this, Annika? I went to see a doctor today. He does have his PhD, but he's actually a healer. Now, I didn't grow up religious, but I, I do consider myself spiritual. So for me, it really worked. So what he was doing was working. Well, he, he asked me what I wanted first, and I've been. Why does this happen every time I try to explain what I did today? Can we up? I'm just gonna sit like that. Well, come on. You have two chairs now to help you up. Good girl. There you go. All right, we're back in business. And so he was asking what I wanted and I was noticing that recently my focus has been off. And it's funny because I'm being able to, like I'm having the ability to do more of what I really want. However, I'm like sabotaging myself by just being overly critical, negative self-talk, not thinking that I'm good enough or that I deserve to be doing what I do because I sometimes think, you know, that I just have an idea of what I should be doing or, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm having like an inner battle between my fears and my insecurities and my dreams and what I really want to do. And I think it's just maybe it's because I'm so far from home. And so I sought help from a healer. I've also been struggling with maybe like feeling guilty that I should go back home or that I'm not successful enough and I might as well go back home. I've had a few Skype calls with my mom letting me know about some family members that have been sick recently. That obviously plays on my conscience and even though I'm talking to them and they want me to stay, it's just, you know, sometimes even though when people seem like things are fine, just the weight of the world can get you down or just you're your own worst enemy. So I, I thought I would go see this guy and he was amazing. And I guess so. Sit down, come on, sit down, please. Sit, sit, sit down. I feel like, I know that this is really weird, but I feel like every time I stand here and wanna like talk to you guys about this, that things keep happening. Like I started telling you about it the moment after I got back from the session and there were just people being loud and it was just crazy. And then like, I just feel like I keep getting interrupted every time I'm like trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Should I not be saying this? Should this be something? I don't know. I just feel like sometimes if you get bogged down, you just need to sort of get perspective. So that's what I went to do. And I just, I wanted to just see what he could offer. So he did something, I don't know if you guys some people say Reiki I say Reiki um, he does Reiki healing um, and sound vibrational healing and obviously you guys know I'm in the music industry and I love music that's my passion music is vibration and I believe that it's healing and inspiring so that makes total sense to me and the freakiest thing happened so I was like laying on the table and I'm not even being touched. He's noticed that, and I'll be the first to say this, that I am full of fear. He's like, your heart is so closed up. Someone has hurt you so badly that you are just completely closed off. And I'm like, well, of course I am. <laughs> Have you seen what's been going on in my life? Yeah, so he noticed that I have a lot of fear, obviously, about relationships and you know, fear of like I have trust issues because I've had a lot of people not just like breaking my heart, but people stealing from me, people trying to hurt me uh, for no reason other than their own 
reason <sighs> so uh, you know when those things happen over and over again you try to build up a wall but unfortunately that's just hurting me and that's hurting my creativity that's hurting my focus I'm finding because I'm a creative person and that's what I do I can't be inspired because I'm not open I'm not open I'm not living in the moment I'm just looking to escape because I'm so scared that someone's gonna come and hurt me or try and take something away from me. Like I'm constantly petrified of losing my dog because you guys know what happened to Kestra. So anytime she makes a noise or she's like, like chokes on her own food or she doesn't eat or she's weird, I panic. I go into panic mode. <sighs> so he noticed it's, I have like I obviously have fear in the hips which is a fear of my sexuality and all that kind of stuff a lot of people go through that kind of that kind of fear but the, the biggest fear was in my heart and it's because I'm just I'm so panicky all the time like you know if I'm doing videos of people thinking that it's funny uh, am I offending someone because of course that's the last thing I want to do I never want to offend anybody so I'm going over and over in my head is it offensive does anyone feel offended do people hate me have I hurt someone is it like you know when people come over to the house are people comfortable oh the dog's jumping on them and just all of this panic it's it's like panic I'm just always really panicky and on edge and jumpy and I'm not living in the moment a lot of the time so he was doing this healing and he was doing sound healing with crystal like you know those big crystal healing sound balls if you bowls not balls they're like big sound balls so he had that as well all of a sudden I was like feeling tingles that started in my fingers I'm like oh and he's like yeah I'm just starting to get the fear out and then the tingles started going up my arm like have you seen the matrix where Neo touches the mirror and the mirror starts to go up his arm. How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? This can't be what? Be real? It's like the tingles started going up my arm, but then all of a sudden my hands went like that and they stopped moving like rock solid. Like it felt like my hands were big pieces of iron and it started to go all the way up my arms. So it just felt like I had these two big iron arms. And I, that was Annika jumping off the chair and I couldn't move. And then suddenly my face went stiff and I was like this, then he's asking me questions because he's giving me positive affirmations and because those positive words hold power and energy. So he's trying to encourage me to say, yes, that's true. I'm worthy. And I'm like, I can't speak. It was like sleep paralysis. I couldn't move. I had so much fear inside me when I'm trying to process this fear. <sighs> I couldn't move and I started crying because I was terrified. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced sleep paralysis, but it is terrifying and I wasn't asleep. I wasn't, I was completely conscious and I was lying there and I couldn't move and I was so scared that it was never gonna end. <sighs> and after a really long time, I think he was starting to get worried because I, it was, I couldn't, I couldn't, control it. It was, I was like lying there thinking he's judging. Now all these judgment things go through my head. I'm like, I'm so stupid. I look like an idiot. What am I doing here? Why am I torturing myself? But the moment it, it finally, all the fear came through and it took a long time and it was really slow. All of a sudden I felt like I was on a cloud. Everything was light. Everything was clear. Colors seemed brighter. And it's just, I can't even begin to describe it. It was truly amazing. <sighs> I wouldn't want to feel that terror again. But the, the feeling afterwards was pretty amazing. So now apparently I need to be very kind to myself. I need to check in with myself first and focus on myself. Talking about it is the first step. I don't know if you guys are into this kind of stuff, but look it up, like look up healing. It's not drugs, so you're not putting something into your body. It can't be hurtful. So why not 
you know what I mean? If there's something that you feel like it's very important to let out negative emotions and I experienced that today. I say it all the time but I don't actually, I haven't been doing it in a long time. But the more you just hold it in and you just try to be brave and try to be strong, the worse you have to go through, trust me. And apparently it's not finished. So if I'm a little weird in the next few days, I apologize, but I'm just trying to center myself again because I don't know if you guys know, the next song that's coming out, Come Through, I was in the zone. I was completely centered. I remember that day when I wrote that song, like I wrote something beforehand and then I brought it into the room with Adrian and Adrian and I sat there and we talked about my feelings about the industry and how hard we've both been working, but like how hard I've been working and how I feel like I'm not the only person that feels no one's coming through for me when I'm doing so much all the time and I'm so willing. So that song is about just finally saying, hey, hi, come through for me now, please. <laughs> That'd be great because I put in the work and I cried that day because it was so honest and so real and I, I want to be able to be that open every time I write songs or create something. So I'm looking forward to the next few days. All right, so we've got the water that's boiling. We're going to deem some kale with brags. We'll be fighting up a storm. You know what? I don't care because if Annika doesn't like it, she just gets up and leaves. She doesn't talk back, you know what I'm saying? We got some onions and mushies. I probably don't need too many onions because this has onions with it and this is the oil in it too. This is like, I don't know, Greek style uh, eggplant oh, so good. with tomatoes and basil. Is it basil? Basil? Basil! Eggplant, oil, tomato sauce. Ooh, Annika can hear it. Red pepper, black pepper, curry powder. Oh, parsley. Okay. But it's got the oil in it, so that's good. Slop it in there. Slop it. it. Has some tofu, but I don't know. Tofu can sometimes make me feel, you know? You know what that means? I don't know what it means, but. And then I got this for a salad and an avocado. And a banana avocado. Yum. With all. Taquitos. My head is being chopped off, but that's okay. I like this framing. This by the, what is that say? It says 32217? Is that what that says? That's the, that's the three, does that say 2217? Well, it can't say 32. I mean, onions are kind of weird anyway, aren't they? Anyone know? Usually if it tingles your tongue, you know it's not good. Don't do what I do, people. In the next take, I'm hurling with my head over the toilet bowl. You'll know that it wasn't good. Just put it all in, because I have a feeling it's gonna be off. Fuck it. We're gonna, if we're gonna throw up, we might as well go all out, eh? Do you know what they don't have any more at Trader Joe's? They don't have any more, um, yeah, I put all the mushrooms in there. It looks like cook there, like that big. They don't have any more, um, like chicken, fake chicken. I don't know why. It's probably good though because I hear it's not very good for you because of all the wheat and the gluten and stuff. I'm not cleaning up other people's mess. Stop it, Kat. This is a bad day. Right now. It's pretty funny. Woo! 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 There goes all the nice marinara sauce, whatever was in it. Screw that. I just washed it. It's still going in my food brush. I'll use this to chop that and I'll use that to mix the food. It's a lot of onions. It's a lot of onions if they're off. That's for sure. Ow. Get out the way. Thank you. I'm so under you. 
Alright guys, so I'm steaming the kale. I've got mushrooms, onions, eggplant. I'm going to put some tofu with some herb mix salad and avocado with garlic. And that's what I'm eating. Yum! Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you guys. Have a great night. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Comment that thing that I asked about the dog. Why does my face grow on when she looks at me? Mwah. I love you, Cartier. Kiss him. Mwah.